What's up guys? Welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended video. In today's video, we are going to show you an updated version of the best PvP slash PvE mod in all of Ark Survival Ascended. It is Arkomatic. Big shout out to Bigums for making the best mod you can get for PvP. And we will go over in this video the reason why this is the best mod to have. Let's start out with the structure to start it all is the Archimatic workbench. You'll place one of these down to craft all other Archimatic structures inside of it. You just place the resources required and craft them uh, one at a time, just like you would a fabricator, smithy, replicator, etc. Next up that makes this mod really great is going to be the Archimatic ammunition crafter. Select any ammo BP inside of the Archimatic Ammunition Crafter and fill the required resources to continuously craft the selected ammo. After that, we're going to have the Archimatic Composite Crafter. And basically, it's the same thing as the Ammunition Crafter except for composites. Not only can you craft uh, electronics and hard poly in the Composite Crafter, but you can also convert organic polymer into hard polymer which is second to none in my opinion that this mod has that included with everything else as well next up is going to be the archimatic meat spoiler spoils raw meat to spoiled meat at a super fast rate as you can see it does spoil it like relatively quickly if that's not as fast as you would like you could put multiple of these structures down fill them with uh, multiple amounts of meat each and just like the forges were back in the day or the indie forges to get more metal you place more down and have more operating same thing with this and the next one up which is the wood baker which turns wood into charcoal at a super fast rate one of my favorite uh overhauls that he did to all of these structures uh but but one of my absolute favorites is the archimatic forge and it's a small forge that refines resources in bulk at twice the speed of an indie forge it's also about a quarter of the size of an Indy Forge. So that's great that you get a quarter of the size of the Indy Forge, twice the speed of an Indy Forge. But when you turn this thing on, it just looks so cool in my opinion. So great, great job for Bigums and them for making that um, change to the visuals. The next one up is going to be the Archimatic Egg Collector. Collects not only your tribe's tame dinos out that you have, their unfertilized eggs and their fertilized eggs, but it'll also pick up wild fertilized and, un and unfertilized eggs as well. Next up is going to be the Archimatic Poop Collector. It collects your tribe's tame dino's poop along with wild dino's poop as well. Up next we've got the Archimatic Refrigerator. It keeps any item that can spoil from spoiling for a very long time. And also has a nice text display. The boxes that fill up, I think that's also a nice thing that they did here. And lastly, of the original structures, he has the Archimatic Vault. These last two, the refrigerator and the vault that uh, I've noticed in their overhaul of what they've, what they've done with the structures, is now they both open slightly and close whenever you um, interact with them, not just overall visuals. So I thought that was really nice, but it's just a smaller metal vault to securely store goods in that also has a text display. The last structure that he just brought in, this is the first time he's brought it in, and it's one of my new favorite structures of all time, is the Archimatic Terrarium. This is basically a crop plot, but think of it more as an advanced grow tent, uh, grow incubator, whatever you want to call it, but basically like an indoor grow tent or incubator that you can put your crops in and as long as it has gasoline or some kind of power source and fertilizer inside of it you will be able to uh, grow whatever you want no water needed no sunlight needed it's all included inside of the terrarium a very very amazing mod structure modded structure for him to bring in so thank you so much bigums for bringing that in if i didn't mention it earlier one cool thing i want to say about the poop collector is you can actually make fertilizer inside of it so you don't need the whole dung beetle and all that so i thought that was really nice as well 
I will pop up their Discord for Bigums uh, for anybody interested in joining their Discord and finding out more about his mod right there on your screen. So go ahead and join that Discord. But definitely, if nothing else, get in there and give this guy a like on his uh, homepage. I'll also include that in the description as well. Uh, the link to the mod itself, the project ID number, when it was created, the last time it was updated, and also which mod version it's under. If you've got any questions about the mod, you're free to hit me in the comments below. I'll try to answer it the best I can. If I can't, I'll go over to their Discord and try to get an answer for you. But I just want to put this info out there. Get this mod pushed out for Bigums because, man, I can't tell you how grateful I am to have mods like this in Ark Survival Ascended. If you guys have any other suggestions for mods that you want to see kind of an overhaul like this, hit me down in the comments below. I'll try to get that video out for each one of those comments I see as fast as possible. I hope you guys stay awesome, stay amazing, and I'll catch you next video.